currently in uh, Denver International Airport on my way to Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington is stop number one out of four places that I'm going to go to. that I came to, CenturyLink Field, home of the Seattle Seahawks. So, uh, I think maybe about like a quarter mile away from CenturyLink Field is Safeco Field which is the home of the Seattle Mariners. Look, look. That's uh, CenturyLink Field. This is Safeco Field. So when I looked at places of where to go eat here in Seattle, one of the places that popped up was Dick's Drive-In. Uh, Dick's Drive-In is considered a fast food chain here in Seattle. Very, very popular place. There's uh, several locations spread out across the city, but I'm here at the home spot where it was built. Um, uh, Dick's Drive-In serves uh, burgers, fries, shakes, and drinks. I ended up getting the, uh, the cheeseburger with fries and uh, it looks pretty good. Um, let me check out this cheeseburger real quick. It's a little, uh, it's a little tiny. It's not so big. It's maybe about, maybe about the size of my palm. Um, it wasn't that expensive either. I got a, uh, a cheeseburger, an order of fries, and a, van and a vanilla milkshake uh, for seven dollars. So uh, my final opinion of uh, Dick's Drive-In, yeah, it's definitely a good place. It's definitely one of those places that you just kind of grab and go. There really isn't uh, any chairs or tables where you can sit at. You kind of just uh, pull it into the actual uh, uh, fast food restaurant, you park your car, uh, you go stand in line, you order uh, whatever you want to eat, and then you kind of just get it and go back to your car and leave. I also noticed that the uh, that the portions are kind of small, so uh, if you come here with a big appetite, definitely get yourself maybe like two or three cheeseburgers, uh, maybe one or two order order of uh, fries. But uh, yeah, definitely a uh, very recommended for you to come here. Uh, definitely enjoyed it for sure. Uh, currently here at uh, Pike Place Market. Uh, this is an outstretched road located in Pike Plaza here in downtown Seattle. Uh, Pike Place Market is uh, mainly a, a farmer's market where you can find a whole bunch of uh, handcrafted goods, uh, materialistic and food items as well. They have a lot of uh, fresh fish here as well because uh, Pike Place Market is right next to Elliott Bay. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, vegetables here that you can buy. A lot of very uh, unique places where you can eat as well. You can find uh, t-shirts here, uh, all sorts of souvenirs, keychains. Like I said, this seems like a like an outstretched road of a whole bunch of goods. Handmade goods, 
fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. Uh, this is definitely considered a very hot spot. There's a lot of foot traffic on the street, inside of the market, outside of the market. Uh, if you're ever in downtown Seattle, definitely make your way to Pike Place Market. Uh, you'll definitely won't regret it. At uh, that building right behind me, that was the, uh, the first Starbucks ever built. It was born here in Seattle, Washington. So uh, the Airbnb that I'm staying at uh, is down the street from a restaurant called Andaline's Joe's. Uh, the host of my Airbnb uh, suggested that I should come here for dinner, so I did. I uh, ended up ordering the pork tenderloin that was a special for tonight. It comes with uh, lemon rice and green beans. Now I'm just patiently waiting for my food. Excuse me while I uh, while I feast. Uh, I just got done eating, and uh, you know, to be honest, I uh, I really didn't enjoy my dinner. So, uh, final thoughts on uh, Endeline Jones? A uh, great place. Um, I thought it was a little bit overpriced, but at least the servants were pretty big. Endline Joe's uh, kind of reminds me like a, like an old school grandma style kitchen. You know, they have a, a pork tenderloin, fried chicken, sandwiches, uh, fish tacos, things like that. Uh, definitely if you're in uh, Seattle, Washington and you want to have a nice dinner, come to uh, Endeline Joe's. You won't be disappointed. One of the first things that I did before I came to Seattle was that I purchased a uh, Seattle City Pass. The uh, Seattle City Pass gives me uh, five vouchers to five tourist attraction sites here in Seattle. The, uh, the price for the Seattle City Pass was uh, $80 and the, uh, the first uh, tourist attraction that I'm going to go to is uh, Argozi Cruises. Was looking up places uh, to go eat in Seattle I wanted to find a, a good a good breakfast spot so uh, I ran across a review that was saying that uh, Geraldine's counter is the best breakfast in all of Seattle from the point that I enter uh, Geraldine's counter everybody seemed very friendly uh, inside it's very uh, modern you know all of the servers are uh, very young but they're also very very nice the uh, customer service was outstanding their uh, breakfast and brunch menu include things like uh, you know omelets, uh, traditional breakfast plates like bacon and eggs, biscuits and gravy. Um, they have uh, sandwiches, burgers, they have meatloaf, all sorts of food items. I ended up uh, getting the uh, biscuits and gravy and holy shit, it was amazing. Uh, final thoughts over uh, Geraldine's counter great breakfast spot i don't necessarily know if it's the best breakfast spot in seattle only because I'm, I'm here for three days so it's not like i can hit every single breakfast spot in the city but it was definitely very 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 good i'm currently here at the uh, seattle center uh, seattle center is located in uh, downtown seattle and uh, it has a lot of the tourist attraction places that you can get into from the seattle city pass uh, one of the places that i'm going to go to right now is the space needle now I wanted to go to the Space Signal during the evening time because I wanted to see the whole view of Seattle from the night time. Uh, 
currently at the Space Needle right now. Did you guys see that view though? I think I came to the Space Needle at a bad time. It's currently uh, under construction, so the restaurant that's here is closed at the moment, and part of the observatory deck is closed as well. Uh, there really isn't a lot to do here. Uh, not that it's a bad thing, it's mainly for the view. I know that there's a gift shop like on the ground floor. Like I said, this uh, place is under uh, construction right now, so I feel like that, that took a lot away from the experience, but, uh, but the view was great though. Really enjoyed it. Uh, one last thing to note about the Space Needle is that uh, if you come here because of the Seattle uh, City Pass, you get yourself a free photo with your ticket. The other place that I'm going to go to here in this uh, Seattle Center is the Pacific Science Center. Uh, the Pacific Science Center is uh, like a big exhibit uh, slash building where there's a whole bunch of uh, scientific games and uh, uh, scientific models. Uh, it's a great place for the kids. Uh, a lot of the games I noticed inside of the Pacific Science Center are uh, are, are kid friendly, so uh, definitely uh, a place to come if uh, you bring your little ones to Seattle. Overall, uh, I thought the Pacific Science Center was uh, was okay. Uh, I I look at it as more of like a big exhibit of a whole bunch of games that have like little uh, scientific twist to it. So uh, if you're into those kind of brain teasers uh, games or the games that make you think a lot, uh, definitely come here. You'll have a great time. So this is uh, my last day in Seattle and I just got, got done eating breakfast at this place called uh, Baco Cafe. Uh, Baco Cafe is located uh, here in uh, downtown Seattle. It's right down the street from uh, uh, Pike Place Market. I ended up having the uh, the Baco breakfast, which was uh, two eggs, uh, a biscuit, roasted potatoes, and two pieces of sausage links. They were delicious. Awesome, awesome, awesome place. Um, I will say that this uh, little cafe is kind of small um, and it's a very, very, very popular place. So uh, if you ever come to uh, Baco Cafe here in downtown Seattle, you may have to wait. And the restaurant inside isn't necessarily big, so if you come here during the winter, you'll have to wait outside, and it's kind of cold out. So uh, just for you to know that before you actually come to Baco Cafe, that you may have to wait, because it's such a popular place, and it's so small too. Uh, Baco Cafe is also known for their uh, fruit smoothies, and I ended up having the, I think it was called the Madonna, or the Medina, Something like that. It was a strawberry, banana, apples, and pear smoothie, and it was delicious. Uh, very highly recommended that you get that one or any of their other uh, smoothie selections that they have on the menu. But uh, yeah, Baco Cafe, awesome spot. Whenever I was uh, looking at uh, things to do in Seattle, uh, a particular place uh, came up on my search, something called the Gum Wall. This place is uh, legit an alley full of gum all over the damn wall. The Gum Wall is located here in a Pike Place Market, so if you come to Pike Place Market, you have to come check out this Gum Wall. You have to see it for yourself. It's amazing. So I'm here at the Gum Wall. So wouldn't it be right for me to put my own piece of gum on this wall? I think so. So uh, one of the uh, last places that I'm gonna check out, and you've probably seen it from all of the aerial shots that I've taken of Seattle, is the Seattle Great Wheel. I just bought my ticket right now. The uh, ticket was $14 plus tax, came out to 16 bucks. So uh, I'm about to get on right now. The pot itself uh, kind of moves around a lot, so it's kind of wiggly, but uh, you know, it's not so bad unless you're like afraid of heights or have like some sort of uh, motion sickness, probably not the best thing to do. But, uh, but yeah, uh, overall, I'm really enjoying it. I love, love, love the view. So that about uh, wraps it up for my uh, Seattle trip. I was here for a total of three days and I uh, I absolutely love Seattle. Uh, Seattle was such a great experience for me. I know that I didn't hit every single piece of Seattle, but I was only here for three days and I just kind of did uh, the things that I really wanted to do, the, uh, the most popular things, of course. My favorite part about this whole Seattle trip was just the view of the Seattle skyline. Personally, I am a big fan of city skylines and Seattle's was just gorgeous, day and nighttime. 
Uh, if you ever come to Seattle, I highly recommend that you get the Seattle City Pass. You're going to save yourself a lot of money if you want to go to those uh, tourist attraction spots. Uh, definitely get that for sure. Also, uh, please uh, note that uh, a lot of the tourist attraction uh, places from the Seattle City Pass are in downtown Seattle. So uh, you will have to uh, pay uh, to park every single time if you get yourself a rental or, or if you drive up here. One thing I will recommend is that whenever you're uh, parking your vehicle in the downtown area in Seattle, uh, the pay to park uh, meters, you can actually uh, avoid all of that and you can just pay through the through the online app. Uh, this is it right here. The, uh, the name of the app is called uh, Pay by Phone. So how it works is that uh, you register your credit card information and your vehicle information on this app and instead of having to go to the ticket booth or to the little uh, ticket machine, you can just uh, pay for your parking through this app. And the cool thing about it is that uh, you know if you pay for one hour of parking but then all of a sudden you find yourself needing to, to park for longer, you can extend your your parking stay through this app instead of having to walk back to your vehicle and having to uh, rerun the meter. So uh, this is definitely very, very, very helpful. It definitely uh, benefited me a lot whenever I was parking all over the downtown areas. Made it a lot easier for me. If you're wondering uh, where I stayed in Seattle, I stayed at an Airbnb. Uh, the information for that Airbnb is gonna be down in my description. Both uh, Tola and Suavik were fantastic hosts and I appreciate their hospitality and welcomed me to their home. They were very, very, very nice. So uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and like my video, subscribe to my channel, and please share this video across your uh, social media platforms. Uh, if you want to follow me on my social media platforms, the links for that is going to be down in my description as well. Also, I've uh, made uh, two additional travel videos already over San Antonio, Texas, and Dallas, Texas. So if you want to check those out, the links are going to be in the description as well. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.